Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Battle of the Labyrinth. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series by Rick Riordan. Um, and I have read all the books up to this point when I am filming this video but I am doing my review of the fourth one right now. I have all the rest of the books of first through the third already on my channel. I will link those in the description box below if you guys would like to check them out. So going on to this book, I really enjoyed The Battle of Labyrinth. This is by far my favorite book out of the entire series. It kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time. I just loved it. Um, I was like, wow. <laughs> like some of the stuff that happened in this book I really did not see coming. And, you know, when it gets to the very end, it was like, and then we go into The Last Olympian. And same idea which I'll be talking about when I do my review at the last only being don't know what's going to be happening at the time but you know you really anticipate moving on with the series at the end of this book and with the last only being you can't wait to read on to Heroes of Olympus which is the I believe the sequel series um so let's just go on with this book so uh this is like I said this was my by far my favorite book in the series I just just I can't can't even tell you how much I love this book it was so fantastic. I mean, Rick Riordan's writing style is just blown me away throughout this entire series. And, you know, I never know what's going to happen next. Um, and <laughs> I was just, like, on the edge of my seat the entire time, like I said earlier. And it just was, like, two thumbs up. Uh, I just loved it. Um, I really liked the concept of this labyrinth, this underground maze that kind of runs up underneath the entire country. I really like that aspect of it. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, and, you know, you never know what's going to happen next because there's twists and turns around this every single corner of this labyrinth and this like, action everywhere, you know. You never know who you're going to face next from monsters or, you know, if you're going to come face-to-face -face with a, some sort of god because um, we did meet um, a few gods like Hera and um, I think you get to see a little bit of Hermes again. I read this a few weeks ago so I'm kind of refreshing my memory while I'm telling you guys about what I thought about this book. So um, sorry if my mind's a little bit jambled. I really like the different types of monsters we got to meet in this book from the Impusa to this giant who's supposed to be Percy's brother, another child of Poseidon. I thought that was a really cool um, aspect of it, and sorry if you hear broccoli, I have my notes right here. Um, like I said, like again, I really liked that concept of it, and uh, I really liked this battle that took place in this arena, which is part of the labyrinth where um, Percy and Ethan Nakamura, who is the son of ne um, Nemesis, I believe, and I liked the battle that took place between him as well as Percy's kind of half-brother the giant, like I said earlier. Um, I really, really liked that scene. That was probably one of my favorite scenes of the entire book, um, besides the battle at the very end of the book when uh, Cronus' army kind of invades Camp Half-Blood. That was probably my favorite scene of the entire book. You know, just picturing everything that happens in any of the books in the series in your mind is just, wow. Um... One character I really didn't like, um, and she kind of played a kind of sort of major role in the book, was uh, Rachel Dare, who is this mortal girl who kind of helps out Percy and Annabeth and Grover and all of their friends um, in this maze because uh, I think, I can't remember who told them, but the mortals are supposed to like know their way around the um, labyrinth. And I liked, I did not like her as a character in this book. And the Titans curse, I kind of did. We only got to see just a little bit of her. Um, in the Battle of the we didn't. we got to see a lot more of her. I kind of thought her, she was annoying at the time. Um, in The Last Olympian, I'm not going to spoil the book, but I liked her in that book much better than I liked her in this book. Um, also, I was really got, glad we got to see Nico again. Nico D'Angelo, who is the son of Hades. I thought... He was a really cool character, even though we didn't get to see him much in the Titans Curse, the third book. I thought he was like kind of a cool character, especially after the death of his sister. And this, uh, he like, leaves 
camp very abruptly at the end of the third book. I'm thinking we're not going to see him again. Maybe we'll see him in the fifth book, but not in the fourth. I didn't think we would ever see him in the fourth book, but we did. And I was like, yes, because he got to use his powers again, which was just perfect. Um, and so I was really glad to see Nico again. And then the last aspect I really enjoyed was kind of this, what I would call in this book, a budding romance. I kind of talked a little bit about it in my review of The Titan's Curse, but we got to see a lot more of it in this book. And I was like, this, this, you know, couple that everybody seems to be talking about, everybody who's read the series, like, just loves these two as a couple. I'm not going to spoil what happens in Titan's Curse. I mean, not the Titan's Curse, the last Olympian. But that kind of, the budding romance kind of plays a big part in The Last Olympian, and I'll talk about that more in my review of that book, which will be coming out in the next couple of days. So I'm kind of glad we get to see more of that aspect of the book. And uh, overall, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was just fantastic. Like I said, it was my favorite book out of the entire series. Um, you know, it beat out The Last Olympian, uh, the, not The Last Olympian, The Titan's Curse, from my favorite book, because The Titan's Curse was originally my favorite book before I read this, because The Titan's Curse is also fantastic. So that is all I have for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will have all my social media and media links in the description box below so you guys can go check them out and we can chat on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and um, I would be happy to answer any of you guys' questions that you would like to ask me. And um, I will be uploading videos probably every Monday, th Wednesday, and Friday. So be on the lookout for more videos. I will have a video about my uh, experience reading The Last Olympian, as well as my overall series review, what I thought about the entire series. And those will be out in the next couple of days, like I said. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon for my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!